rewind like three minutes ago. You said Islam is like a fake religion. False religion. False religion. Yeah, just like Hinduism so just or Buddhism or Catholicism. What is your What's that? View of people of the Middle East. Like, What's that? What is your view of the people of the Middle East? Just out of curiosity. Well, they're sinners that need Jesus Christ, just like you and me. So people of the Middle East are sinners. That need Jesus Christ, just like you and me. Yeah, but yeah. Jesus Christ is from the Middle East. Yes, and what I'm saying is, are so you are you asking are you asking me what do I think of Muslims? No, just in general. Oh well, yeah, a human being is a human being created in the image of God, and you so need you Jesus Christ. So if you really don't like people from the Middle East, then why are you preaching about a guy? Excuse from me, ma'am. How did you come Sir, to the conclusion that I don't like people from the Middle East? I love people place. from the Middle East. I was just in the Middle East, and I love people in the Middle East. I, I was sharing the gospel with people in the Middle East just recently. To try to change their views. Of course, ma'am. Sir. No, I don't. I don't play that game. <laughs> you got a false religion yourself. Sorry. There's quotes in the Bible that you yourself. I don't live in alternate universes, ma'am. Sir. Yeah, well, that's the difference between you, you and I. If I want to identify as a rabbit, are you gonna call me Bugs Bunny? No, I mean, I'm I sorry. Call you rabbit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, uh, this is the problem with this is the problem with moral relativism. You're looking at it right here. When somebody is a moral relativist, there is no degree to the moral anarchy and the depravity to which society will descend. For example, she wants to identify as a he. Well, what stops a person from saying, well, I want to identify as a child? Oh, wait a minute. That's already being done. There are male adults and male and female adults that want to identify as an age other than their age. I mean, just in the news recently, there was a white lady trying to identify as a black woman. <laughs> and you know what? Everybody came down on that person and said, "How dare you identify as a race that you're not that you're, that you're not born with?" Hey, we're talking about the Bible right now, okay? Okay, what's your point? She did ask me something about the Bible in terms of what's the biblical, what's my view of Middle Eastern people, and I gave it to her. But when she insists that I call her a he, I will not live in an alternate universe. Sorry. That's not alternate universe. You're in the same universe as I. So how is my gender any different than your beliefs? Rebellion. My beliefs is, is the same as yours. The way that you choose to interpret anthropology it shows your rebellion against God. God made me me. God chose to give me my God identity. made you in his image so that you would wise. glorify him by obeying his word. That's insulting. That's rude. You want people to come I know that you would you, think you that because people. you're not a Christian. I am a Christian. You can't be a Christian and deviate or pervert God's design for men and women. I don't remember God saying that people cannot be different genders. Yeah, absolutely. It tells us that, matter of fact... He said men and women. If yeah, I'm, that, if that's I'm right. classified that's as a right. man, I am still a man or a woman. Yeah. He and, didn't say you can't be something different. No, God wants you to... God leave. gave us the chance The Bible says he wants us to dwell in truth. That love the truth is love. Love is loving the truth. Love and is if you want to live in a world of make-believe, that's your that's your fault. Love is love. Love Bible, is not classified and, But you're under God's condemnation when you do that, sadly. My, my, my uh, suggestion to you is that you repent of your sin, of lying, of taking God's name in vain, or whatever else, and everything else, because we're all sinners, we've all fallen short of the glory of God, and wish, if you repent and put your faith in Jesus, he will restore your anthropology and your view of man and your view of yourself, but, so that you live consistently with the Christian worldview, and you don't dishonor him with your view of sexuality and gender. So I need to repent for Are you being homosexual? what God made me. Are you homosexual? Does it matter? Yes, it does, because the Bible says no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God. It, it also says, it, yeah, you know what? I am gay. Watch your step here. I am gay. I am super gay, all right? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, and uh, the Bible says that that's what happens. The haughty no, walk no, no, around no. and they strut in rebellion all day long. You're wrong. God is not surprised at that. Okay. But what's sad here is that you are living for something that will send you to hell in the end. I'd rather go to hell than I know try you to would. Be, pretend to be something I'm not. I know you would. You, that's what the Bible I, says. You said I need to repent for being who I am. You need, need to repent for your sin, ma'am. You said that Jesus died on the cross to do for our future sins. So why should I repent if he already died on the cross for my future sin? When he died on the cross, and for the person that trusts in him, a person will be regenerated and converted. He'll be sanctified and washed. 
you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it says that no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God. And then Paul says, such were, past tense, some of you. Such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were cleansed by the Spirit of our God. So in other words, what it's saying is this. God is in the business of saving, saving homosexuals, and then they are no longer identifying as homosexuals. You see that? Because everybody comes to God in one form or another sexually and, uh, 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 you know, broken, whether sexually or in some other way. We come to God broken through our sin. He restores us, and He causes us to walk in the truth, walk in the light as He is in the light. You're still wrong. Cause you keep no, you're wrong, man, because it's you against God's you, word, and you're going to you, lose. You God is not a liar. Video, but according to one of his quotes, it was uh -huh. that if a guy sits with another guy, he should be killed. That is the quote. You quoted me. I don't know what you're talking about, man, but the Bible everywhere condemns homosexuality. Old Testament, New Testament, Leviticus 17, it's condemned in Romans so chapter 1, it's condemned in 1 Corinthians guy, he chapter he 6, and 1 Timothy chapter 1, it's condemned all over the Bible. Both. All right, what race is Jesus? What race is he? He was Jewish. Yeah, he was, a, he was Jewish, uh, and he came to save all races. Praise the Lord, hallelujah to the Lamb. He came to redeem and to save all races of man, uh, because it says that he redeems people out of every tribe, tongue, and nation.